There are many special objects in The Sims 4 which I have never ever used in my entire life. Most of these I find are actually in the base game itself. So today we're looking at all of the special objects in The Sims 4 base game and actually seeing what they're about. Now, one thing I have never ever used in my entire life is this nano can touchless trash can. So apparently you can make a lot of money off of this. It does cost 1,200 simoleons, which is a lot of money. So I'm gonna be interested to see if we actually make our money back now i guess to do that we're gonna have to do some cooking so that we have something to throw into the bin what an absolute waste of food but i am gonna pick up multiple different servings of this just so that we can put many different things in the bin at a single time we have a lot of cheese here i must say it's a bit weird to eat all this cheese right he's gonna throw is he gonna throw the plate in the bin oh, oh no don't put it in the sink no no, don't put it in the sink. I want it in the bin. In order to actually make this work, I am going to delete the sink and we're going to delete all the doors. So he's forced to put it in the bin. There we go. We can throw it away now. We're putting it in the bin. Will we get any money straight away? Oh, look, we just got 30 simoleons and it's doing a special flashy thing. Okay. So that specific one was just 30. Now, what if I throw away all these other bits of cheese? What a waste of cheese. I can't believe it. Is this? There we go. That one got us 20. 20. Okay, what if we do another cheese? What will that get us? 20. Okay, if we do another bit of cheese. That will get us 20. So it seems like every single time... Excuse me, don't put that on the floor, please. It seems like every time you get 20. So that's not as much as I thought that you'd get from it. Now, as it costs 1,200, you will need to throw away, according to my calculator, 60 things in order to make your money back. So once you've trashed 60 individual things, you will make your money back, which sounds like a lot, but if you're playing like a long lifespan legacy kind of gameplay, maybe it will be worth it to have this bin. I think it could work for rags to riches if you're doing it over a long period of time. I actually quite like that. Something else that you may not know has functionality is this base game backpack. Now, the actual backpack is just a regular school backpack, but a lot of people don't know you can actually click on it and you can open it so you can put things in it. So not that we have live schools in The Sims 4, so it doesn't really make much sense. But now something that you can't put in the backpack is food for some reason. So I can't put a sandwich in there. So I feel like what do you put in there because you can't put food in directly? Well, if we get some kids toys, I believe there we go. You can pop some kids toys into the backpack. You can't put uh, crystals or violins in there or anything. In terms of books, you can put books in there. So it's a bit random, like what on earth can you put in this thing? Although interestingly, I can actually put this in my Sims inventory. So if I wanted to take things around with me, these stay in the backpack, even if I put the backpack in itself in my inventory so it's like a double layer to your inventory it's like having a an extra do you know what i mean like an extra inventory layer it can be useful if your inventory i guess is very cluttered and you wanted to sort it a little bit another base game objects i have for you is the future cube again i feel like most of us don't really do much with this but there's actually a lot of things it looks like it's almost a fortune teller like ask for creative ideas ask about love life so we're gonna ask about our love life and see what's gonna happen happen. He takes it and he sits on the sofa and he shakes it. This is a very 2000s toy and it says your romantic future does not look so bright. Oh, that's a bit terrible. <laughs> Sounds a bit like my romantic future. We could ask for creative ideas. Inspiration will come to you soon. And as you can see now in the bottom left, we have an inspired mootlet from the future cube. We could also ask about the sprites. The sprites are truly grateful for the connection they share with you, Shanice. Keep to this part and your future will be supremely sparkly. Now, interestingly, in the past, this future cube was actually updated with different things about future packs. So if you ask it about the future, it would give you hints. So as you can see now, it just says the future is soon. It doesn't really give any hints. So leading up to the ladders update of The Sims 4, before ladders were officially integrated in the base game, there was a prediction that said climbing to the top one rung at a time. And this 
was shortly before the ladders patch, so it can predict some things. Although as of now, it doesn't really predict anything, so they probably won't be using it like that anymore. But still, I think it's an interesting gameplay feature. Another cool gameplay object is the Lindsay Smart Speaker. I actually covered this one in a TikTok hack video before. It's actually very interesting. So this is the speaker here. Now you can do more than just play music. You can ask it for a joke and it will tell you a random joke, although it doesn't come up as like a text box string. You can also play trivia with it as well. And you may notice as well that the smart speaker appears in your socials panel. You can literally befriend it. You can also yell at it if you want to. You can hire repair service, pizza, a maid. It's kind of like an Amazon Alexa. It's pretty cool. And once you've reached a certain friendship level with it, you can also set a wake up routine, which includes a daily joke, a news briefing or daily affirmation, which I think is quite funny. You can also ask about secret at some point, which is very, very mysterious. It says, Puss got a smart speaker in the real world. Try saying any of these similar words to it. Now, I actually got somebody to test this and it does absolutely nothing. So it's a troll, unfortunately, but it's still pretty cool gameplay idea. The next base game object you've probably never used is the Magic Plant Sim Stump. I've never used this too, so I think it's going to be interesting. So this one requires gardening skill level 10, which I am cheating because I can't be bothered to do it properly. So for this to work, you actually need to gather magic beans. And you can see in the description, there's different colored ones depending on mootlets. So using a computer, we can purchase some seeds. Now we can get rare plants. This is only if you are gardening level 10, you can order this. Now I'm just opening all of these different seed packets. And oh, look, we got some magic beans. So we got a flirty magic bean we can pop on here. We've got a confident bean, angry, sad, playful. We're missing one more. So I'm going to get a load more rare plants and see what we get. Okay, well, we've opened loads. We didn't get the one we want. This is where the gallery normally comes in. There we go. And guys, I'm sorry, I'm cheating them in. So we can finally get the orange one, the uncomfortable one. Now we can click on this and we can actually water it, which is a little bit random. As I said, I've actually never done this before. And um, there we go. Oh, oh, what happened there? We grow big. <laughs> Guys, no, genuinely, I've never done this before in my life. And look at that. We've got a little tree stump here. Well, a whole tree, literally with gems coming out of it. And we can explore the mystical magic bean portal tree, which is really, really cool. No, guys, I've never done this. Oh my God, this is so exciting. I'm genuinely excited. Although I think it must just be a rabbit hole experience because... Oh, there we go. We finished. Shanice stepped into the portal expecting darkness, but was instead greeted by a bright, sunny pasture filled with all kinds of Flora. A tree stood off to one side, glowing and bearing a fruit. Shanice plucked the fruit from the tree and immediately found the sunny landscape disintegrate into darkness. Before he knew it, he had stepped out of the tree's portal with something in his pocket. And we have obtained the forbidden fruit of the plant sim. Eat and become like the plant sim. Plant and grow a tree of your own. Forbidden, for it is nothing more than a facade. So I'm actually going to plant this one into our garden and I'm going to cheat the growth state to blossoming. So this is it. It looks kind of like a banana tree. And then if you eat the seed that it produces, is it going to turn me into a plant sim? Oh my God, it is. How exciting is this, guys? Male Shanice is now a plant sim. Absolutely love that. And as you can see, his bladder need has changed to a water need now where you need to drink or shower so that you can replenish your, I don't know how plants work. They just need, plants need moisture. So that's what he needs. Although unlike previous in Installments. In The Sims 4, plant sims are only a temporary life state, so it does change over time back to a normal sim. Also, another cool thing is if you try to go into this tree again, it says, we're sorry, but the portal is currently closed. And it says by portal management services, which is quite funny. So this is probably the coolest one because again, I've never actually experienced this before and I went into it completely blind. So I'm very much happy. Now, the next object that you've probably never ever used is the skull 
sugar display case. So this was a part of like a limited time event where you could collect sugar skulls, but you can't really collect them anymore. Or I think you can, but it's very hard. You need lots of gravestones. And then for every gravestone, you can collect a skull. It's a bit confusing because we don't have a lot of dead Sims and I don't want to kill them. I am just going to get them from the gallery because it's a lot easier that way. Guys, if you're not using the gallery in this way, then what on earth are you doing? Though it seems like it's glitching. Like I can't actually like bring them. Oh, I can't put them on. Oh God, it's glitch. Right. It's glitching guys. Oh no, it's glitching. Built mode is totally glitching. I can't even delete this off my lot. Well, absolutely lovely. I'm going to have to go to manage worlds, aren't I? And restart. Even the loading menus glitch. So something is corrupted here. So I've had to just task manager end my game and open a tiny different save file and <laughs> see if that helps. So let's start again. I'll just put these straight onto the wall this time from the one I've taken off the gallery. And you can see all of these, they have like completely different random names that they have. And they're all rarity common apart from this top one, which is very rare. You can click on it and you can honor the dead. And now we've done that. You can see we've got smoke under our shoes and we've worn a mask, which is very interesting. And apparently while you're dressed like this, you have special interactions with the Grim Reaper. So Chantal, Chantal, because we need the Grim Reaper to come, I am going to kill you. I'm very, very sorry. So Mr. Grim Reaper's here. Let's have a little chat, sir. Do we have any special interactions with you now? Discuss afterlife. This must be a special interaction. That's pretty cool. Enthuse about sugar skulls. Complain about spirits. And um, oh gosh, what on earth are they doing now? So I've had a look through all of the interactions and they're only friendly ones you can do. It's a very small thing, but I guess it's quite cool. Most people don't either know it or have never ever played with it. Now, another object you've probably never ever used is the Let There Be Light laser show. So if we turn this one on, it basically produces a tiny little laser show in your Sims houses. And you can, of course, watch it if you want to. It's a very small random thing. I guess, oh, look, there's a freezer bunny. I guess if you're making, I don't know, like a nightclub or something, some kind of flashy venue, maybe you could use a couple of these in there just to make it look a little bit more fun and interesting. I'm not quite sure how or why you would want to use it, but this object does exist if you want it, which I think is pretty cool. So that's basically it in terms of Sims 4 base game features that I can think of that are kind of special that most people have never used. There are also other things, for example, like this gaming map, but I feel like most people have tried that before. If there are any other secret base game things that you've heard of that I haven't mentioned, then please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.